Hey guys, I'm Matt Pittman, award-winning pit master and founder of Meat Church Barbecue. Today, I'm here to give you guys pro tips to help you on your grilling and barbecue journey. Let's talk about building and running a clean fire in your offset smoker or your Kamado style grill. It's really important to run a clean fire. You don't want that thick white smoke. Thick and dirty smoke will actually leave a really bad aftertaste in your mouth when you're eating your barbecue. The way I build my fire in an offset is I like to start with a bed of charcoal and then I'll layer my wood on top. Open the doors to give that fire plenty of oxygen so the wood catches really good and you'll get a cleaner fire. If you see thick smoke coming out of the stack, open the door, give it some oxygen, let that fire catch better and your smoke will thin out and you'll get that thin blue smoke that you're looking for. If you're running a Kamado style grill, it's important to completely clean the charcoal out and build a new coal bed, especially on a long cook, like a pork shoulder or a brisket. So you're gonna use lump charcoal and you're gonna add wood to it and pair it with whatever protein you're using. I always get asked, how much wood do I put in my charcoal? Well, think about an offset. You're burning all wood, so you can't use too much. So when I build my charcoal bed in the Kamado, I actually put chunks throughout the charcoal and I add them on the top after the fire's going. And another thing, don't ever soak your chips or your chunks because then your wood's gonna smolder. That's gonna develop a thick, nasty smoke that you certainly don't wanna taste. This has been a pro tip by Meat Church. And for all your outdoor cooking needs, be sure to visit your local Academy Sports and Outdoors or academy.com.